News Channel 5's medical expert, Dr. David Saria, is joining me now. We're answering some common medical questions. And, Doctor, this could be one of the most common out there ever. How do you treat poison ivy? Yeah, yeah, and, and it's nasty, too. Yeah. The chemical that's in the plant is called uroshiol. And almost 100% of the time, when it touches your skin, it's so toxic that it causes a red, blistering, itchy rash. So the, what you need to do is this. First off, as soon as you feel it, as soon as you think you've got it, go in the shower and wash it off with lukewarm, soapy water. Okay. After you're done with that, make sure you wash all the clothes or anything that may have come in contact with the poison ivy. Very, very important. Now, the blisters, leave them alone. Don't pop them. Don't burst them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> leave them alone because they will spread. Typically, the content of those blisters are contagious, if you will. Any right. other part of the body, you can get that rash as well. Calamine lotion, hydrocortisone cream is good. Sometimes those colloidal oatmeal baths help yeah, the, the itching. Yeah. Right, you got it. And then Benadryl. And that's really about it. It's treat the itching and just kind of ride it out for about seven days. I just said, you got to be tough, yeah. right? All right, next question. If you have bursitis once, is there a way from preventing it from happening again? Well, bursitis is an inflammation of the bursa sacs. And those are fluid-filled, lubricant-filled sacs that are in between bone, tendons, ligaments. And they're usually mm -hmm. used to just kind of allow smooth movement of your joints and muscles. The reality is, is that it's commonly caused in places where you have overuse or repetitive movement. The elbows, mm -hmm. the shoulders, hips, knees. Okay. Right, so wherever you repetitively move those joints, <clears throat> typically skiing, golfing, you know, raking, gardening, sure. those shoveling, those type of activities. So really, the only way to prevent it from reoccurring is to stop doing that type of activity and allow the bursa, the inflammation, to heal, and and don't. Permit it, obviously, to get re-inflamed. I mean, it's like the old joke, right? You know, when you go to see a doctor yep. and, and you say, "My elbow hurts when I do this," we tell you, "Don't do don't, that." Don't right? do that. <laughs> That's essentially our advice with bursitis. You can't do that. And then, of course, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen right. helps to decrease little inflammation. Rest and relaxation. All right, doctor. Thank you so much for making this house call. If you have a question for him, go to our website. With WPTV.com, click on the health link, scroll down to the right-hand side. You'll see that form for your question, and we'll be right back after this.